Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for April the 28th. Morning prayer begins on page 80. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord Lord is is risen risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Canticle on page 83. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20, which is found on page 602. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven. My God, my rock, in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge, you are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from the strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory Glory to to the the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and will will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to to the disciples, This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and you appointed and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, 
and that fruit that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you this i command you to love one another if the world hates you know that it has hated me before it hated you if you were the of the world the world loves its own but because you are not of the world but i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you remember the wor- the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all this they will do to you on my account, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned, but now, They have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It is to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without cause. But when the counselor comes, whom shall I send to you from the Father? Even the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me. And you also are witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will use Canticle 18, found on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and evermore. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, believe I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, died and was buried. He, he descended to the dead. dead. On, On the third day he rose again. again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery has established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that in this Easter season we may have the faith to know our Lord as risen indeed. God of glory, your sun's rising fills the world with light and your people's hearts with joy. 
in the exaltation of this holy season, drive from us the darkness of despair and confusion, that we may live all our days in the power of the victory over death of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for your world. We pray for the unity of all peoples, for greater mutual understanding, and for a renewed desire for dialogue with one another. O King of kings, whose spirit brings order, unity, and concord to all creation, bring together the divided nations of this world that through loving one another and through respectful dialogue about our disagreements, all your children may be led to become people of peace, people of honesty, and people of hope. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love love. in the The redemption redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, pray, give us such an awareness of of your mercies that that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.